Emily Makes a Map by Miss Woodall Once upon a time, in a new school called Tenorock, there was a teacher named Miss Woodall. Miss Woodall taught AP Human Geography to ninth graders in the Freshman Academy. One day, a girl in Human Geography named Emily came up to Miss Woodall with a question. Miss Woodall, why do some areas have more people than other areas? Miss Woodall replies, well, Emily, different types of areas have different things, such as environment, economics, and cultures that attract different types of people. These different types of people tend to cluster in areas with people who also prefer the same type of environments. As more people cluster together in one location, the population density of that area increases. Emily, says Miss Whittle, why don't you look up different cities' population densities and see if you can plot these cities on a map? Emily begins researching different cities' population densities. At first, she only plots the major metropolitan areas such as New York City, Miami, Los Angeles, and Chicago. But then Emily gets many more cities plotted with the different populations. Emily puts one dot on the map for every million people in an area. When Emily finishes her map, she brings it to Miss Woodall. Miss Woodall, is this what the population of the United States looks like when it's plotted on a population density map? She asks. Miss Woodall replies, why yes it is, Emily. You have done a wonderful job plotting the American population. Thank you, Miss Woodall, says Emily. The bell rings and Emily goes home for the weekend. The end.